Hey, what's up guys? This is Sade from Third Generation Conjure. If you are new to our channel, welcome. My name is Sade and I am part owner of Third Generation Conjure. This is a company I run with my mother and um, we specialize in spiritual supplies and spiritual services. Um, if you want to book a reading or order any kind of supplies or anything, you can find us on our website, which is www.thirdgenerationconjure.com. And also, uh, if you're more familiar with the Etsy platform, you can find us there, which is www.thirdgenerationconjure.store. Also, make sure to follow us on Instagram, which is Third Generation Conjure, and like us on Facebook, which is Third Generation Conjure as well. So, uh, for today, and, and guys, I'm going to put all of those links in the description bar below. So, for today, we are doing some twin of Aquarius. All right. So, um, I do tell people this is a collective reading. So, take what resonates and leave what doesn't. Also, you can check your sun and your moon sign. And I have a link to check that um, a website you can use in the description bar below. All right, so we're going to go over some aspects, some things to expect, you know, just some advice for the year 2022 for the sign of Aquarius. So I do pull quite a few cards, so I will go ahead and get these pulled, and I'll be right back, guys. All right, Aquarius, so we are back here with your reading, and for the present, this is where we're going to start. I received the King of Pentacles and the Six of Wands. All right, so we're going to start with the King of Pentacles. The King of Pentacles represents material wealth. Uh, this is a good card of abundance, and this can represent you or it could represent um, someone around you. You know, many of you may be in this state right now, and with the Six of Wands, this is a card of acclaim and um, fame and acknowledgement and all of those type things. So when you see the King of Pentacles in the present term too, if you are not to this level of this King of Pentacles right now, this could even be someone around you um, that may be teaching you or mentoring you. You know, you might be in a uh, spot of education where you're trying to get to um, prosperity and abundance, you know, even if it's like investing and things of that nature. But it's all about right now, those within this sign a lot are focusing on um, material growth and things that will lead them to further success in the future. Right here behind it, we have the Six of Wands. And the Six of Wands represents success um, it represents, um, someone who is, they may be popular. You'll see this a lot of times with fame and kind of public recognition. So once again, a lot of you, uh, within this sign may begin some, um, type of public recognition or fame, or maybe seeking this from this King of Pentacles figure who may be in your life. Also, when you see this, um, King of Pentacles, I'm going to, uh, go back to him for a second. This is someone who is secure and stable. So that could be something that you're focusing on this particular year. Um, and also, like I stated, with the Six of Wands, this is about public recognition, acclaim and fame, popularity, things of that nature um, that may come, you know, even if it's not here right now. But it looks like this is a focus for many of those within the sign this year. All right, so then I asked for... Um, some challenges that you may have this year okay so first i receive the ten of wands and the queen of swords okay i want to start with the ten of wands now the ten of wands this is all about the burdens of success okay so this could be um a lot of challenges with a lot of people this year feeling like they're overburdened okay so um this could be just having a lot going on whether you're working or uh, you got a family and it's just a lot of different heavy burdens but uh, just make sure this year even though you're trying to maybe reach this king of pentacles and this six of wands um, type phase in your life make sure that you're not overworking yourself and that also comes in the next aspect and i'll um, discuss that as well so uh, next, I received the Queen of Swords as a challenge for you this year. And when you see this, she's kind of um, in the cha in a challenging section. The Queen of Wands, the Queen of Swords, I mean, she's pretty confident and self-assured. So when you see this as a challenge, this could be 
you you being challenged with your confidence this year or maybe someone's challenging you and you're not feeling as confident about yourself uh, maybe your determination or some of your drive is kind of slacking or you're starting to get into like a pessimistic type attitude or maybe p people are pushing you to be a bit on the uh, temperamental side or kind of like uh, get into where you're like a, a bully or um, kind of like vengeful type energy uh, when you see this as a challenge. So just don't let people allow you to seep down to uh, low vibrational states as well. You know, keep kind of keep a cool on your um, on your temper this year as well, because that looks like that may be a challenge um, for you this year. Or even if it's not you, it could be someone that's around you that may be kind of just testing you or trying to push you a little bit too far. Just uh, make sure not to fall for it, okay? All right, so then next I pulled some influencing aspects for you this year. And, um, you know, kind of what is going to be influencing your year. It's kind of like a theme, okay? So first I get the Nine of Swords. Now the Nine of Swords, you see this is a person sitting in bed and they're kind of holding their head in despair. Now this can be like some excessive worries and things of that nature. But a lot of times you see the Nine of Swords deals with uh, kind of like lack of sleep or... Um, you know, there may be someone who be may be working extra hard and they may not be getting enough sleep. Um, so just make sure that you take care of your body as well while you're trying to get to this King of Pentacles um, worldly success. All right, so then next I have the Wheel of Fortune. So the Wheel of Fortune um, is a card, once again, of like luck and success and things of that nature. So, you know, you may have some lucky breaks this year. Um, you may also have um, some kind of theme that has to deal with travel because you see the wheel uh, comes up as like a travel card. You even see it like when you're getting a car and things of that nature. Um, I also get the pinnacle and the pinnacle deals with success and manifestation within the worldly sphere. So a lot of you um, may be having some goals that you're accomplishing this year and a lot of your manifestations uh, coming into fruition, which will... Um, you know, affect the course of the remainder of your year. Okay, so then next I found, um, I'm sorry, I pulled on how you may appear to others throughout all of this. So I get the High Priestess and the King of Wands. So the High Priestess is a card of uh, secrecy. It's a card of things that are hidden. So you may appear to be kind of secretive to other people or just may not be overly sharing um, your accomplishments and kind of like moving in silence, which nothing is wrong with that. Also, the high priestess is um, also a lady who is psychic or intuitive, and she's also into the occult and occult practices. So you may be um, outwardly expressing your uh, spirituality and people are able to see that this year. I also get the King of Wands and I'm sorry, the Knight of Wands and the Knight of Wands is all about movement. When you see wands, they are cards that uh, indicate movement. You know, this can be people uh, viewing you as someone who's constantly on the go this year. Or maybe you're making some major moves and people are able to see that. You know, you're um, starting up a business or you're happy in a new relationship or you're just, you know, moving on to another job. But when you see this, this is a card of energy. This is a card of invent adventure. And it's also, um, once again, a card of action. So people just kind of see you uh, moving around. Or maybe you're making some private moves that they're not seeing. And they're like, how, sh how are they making this uh, progress? But you're not really being open and sharing that with other people. You're being a little bit more low-key. And people are just taking notice of how you're progressing throughout the year. All right, then, so next I pulled on some influencing aspects. So what are some things that are going to be influencing your year this year? So I received the Queen of Pentacles, the Two of Wands, and the card of the key. All right, so with the Queen of Pentacles, she's kind of like um, the King of Pentacles here. You know, more feminine type energy. The Queen of Pentacles is all about uh, stability, stability. She's also a card of financial progress and um, financial growth, okay? So when you see this card, these are just some things that are influencing your year. So possibly your uh, motivation and drive is 
you know, picking up. So you're able to um, get some things accomplished, especially on the financial and business side. Okay. Also, we get the two of wands, and this is a card of progression. If you're in a business type setting, this could represent, um, you know, early stages of success as far as the business is concerned. The two of wands is also a card of travel as well. So, um, you know, that may be some things influencing your year as well. You know, some, some kind of movement, uh, whether that is travel and you're meeting new people and making new connections or even some travel as far as relocation or, or moving and things of that nature. I also get the card of the key. The key is the opener of your own way. So uh, the energy that you put out this year is going to um, magnify and manifest, okay? So once again, the key is the opener of your own ways. It also says that <clears throat> new eyes see things more clearly, okay? You see this, the world with a new set of eyes. So um, this could even be you changing your mindset, even if you are <clears throat> paying attention to your thoughts and your energy. This is influencing your year. So just make sure that um, you know the power that you hold within and the ability to manifest in the outside world, okay? Because that will be a uh, major key and influence for you this year. All right, so then I pull some aspirations and some concerns. So I get the Two of Cups and I get the card of the Justice. Okay, the Two of Cups deals with our personal relationships. These can be relationships with our significant others, with our spouse. It could be business relationships. And these can be some things that you desire um, to bring into your life this year. You know, uh, more committed relationships. It could also be a concern. So you may have some things going on within um, your personal relationships that concern you as well. I also get the card of justice and the justice card deals with, um, it can deal with legal matters. So that could be a concern for those within this sign this year, but it's also a card of kind of getting what you deserve. Okay. So that's going to be, um, kind of like an aspiration. Like I've been working so hard. I deserve this. And it's kind of like, fueling you to keep going forward and to keep putting that energy out there towards your goals. All right. So then next I pulled on just some, um, general advice for you this year. All right. And I get received the nine of cups, the eight of pentacles reverse the card of the familiar spirit. The Ten of Swords and the card of the Lioness. Okay, when you see the Nine of Cups, this is a card of desires and wishes being fulfilled. Okay, so um, this is a big card when it comes when it deals with manifestation and things of that sort. So, uh, like I said before, with the key that came up for your aspirations and concerns, this is going to be a year to keep your thoughts and your energy in alignment because it looks like. Um, out of all the reasons I've done, this is like, with this zodiac sign being a um, big manifestation year, okay? So, um, once again, like I said, make sure that you keep your thoughts and energy in alignment with your goals because it looks like a lot of you, if you keep um, going down the path that you're going and, um, you know, pursuing your goals, a lot of you are going to be getting your wishes and your desires granted this particular year. All right, then, so next I get the card of the familiar spirit, okay? The familiar spirit uh, addresses the need for middle connection, all right? And this is about a mediator. It could represent needed a mediator or closer ties. So uh, when you see this card, it's kind of like a meeting point. And if you're having problems, especially if you're in a spiritual practice where you feel like you're not being able to decipher spirit, it may be best to you know, kind of get you a reading with someone who can, who can effectively communicate with spirits. But also, um, this is about you discovering improved communication as well. So, you know, make sure that you're paying to, paying attention to the messages that spirit is lending you and, and spirit is giving you and not ignoring those messages. Okay, so we get the Ten of Swords. Now, the Ten of Swords deals with separation and it deals with endings. 
So this is advice to let go of what no longer serves you. Um, and this doesn't always have to be relationships. You will see it when um, relationships are involved. However, this is a card of letting go. You know, letting go of heartache, letting go of pain, letting go of any kind of toxic relationships that you know that you need to get out of. Like I said, even if that's like a work situation that may be moving on and finding something different because you did get the two of wands, which is a card of movement. All right. That could be moving from a job, moving from a relationship as well. So make sure that this year <laughs> you're getting rid of what no longer serves you and what no longer serves you on your path. All right, so then next I got the Eight of Pentacles in reverse, okay? With the Eight of Pentacles, this tells you not to try to cut corners this year, okay? You need to do things right and you need to do it by the book. Don't try to cut corners and um, just do things right this year, okay? Also, this is about paying attention to your energy as well because it, it does tell you that... Uh, Negative energy can aff affect your productivity because the Eight of Pentacles ultimately is the work card, but it is all about being productive. Um, also, this is about stepping out into stepping out of your comfort zone and getting out of um, situations where you feel fearful. You know, if it's something that you want to go after and it's some things that you want to accomplish, you need to go ahead and go for it and not worry about what you feel other people are going to think about you. Okay, this is all about this year following your dreams and what it is that you want to manifest and what it is that you want out of life this year. All right, so then we get the card of the lioness. And this uh, lioness card, the message in this card is that you've earned all of your stripes, okay? So, you know, everything that you've worked for, be happy of your accomplishments, okay? Don't let anyone else uh, try to downgrade it. You be happy for what you have accomplished. And there's nothing wrong with being proud of your success. You know, it's not about being cocky or anything of that nature. And it's, it's always good to remain humble. But also, you know, pat yourself on the back and congratulate yourself as well. And don't be afraid of doing that, okay? So then I asked for some uh, outcomes for you this year. All right? And first I get the Queen of Wands. Now the Queen of Wands, when you see both of these, I get the King as well. These are cards of leadership, okay? When you see Wands, like I stated, Wands are all about movement. Wands are about um, new opportunities that are coming into the forefront. So a lot of you may be getting promotions at work. Um, you may be getting um, leadership roles and things of that nature. It's a good card as it relates to leadership roles as well. And you get both the king and the queen of wands as well, okay? And it's all about uh, this year stepping into, once again, your confidence and moving forward with confidence also. You know, um, kind of embracing that masculine as well as that feminine energy showing empathy but also showing drive and determination also get the card of strength when you see strength um, as an outcome this is just telling you that you have the ability to overcome any obstacles that um, you may face within this year you know nothing is going to be um, too big for you to accomplish when you see the strength card, this is all about summoning your inner strength to uh, get through. And it's a card of perseverance. And this is also a card, um, like I stated, with the king of wands and the queen of wands of confidence. And this may be your confidence getting a boost because you're moving towards this um, six of wands type energy where you're getting um, a claim and you're getting recognized um, for the things that uh, you have been doing throughout the entire year. But once again, like I stated, you know, you don't have to be cocky or you don't have to, um, you can still remain humble and still be proud of yourself and your accomplishments. But it looks like a lot of you within the sign of Aquarius are going to be, you know, pursuing and 
smashing some goals this year if you uh, just make sure that you stay determined. All right, so then lastly, I receive the Book of Shadows. Okay, now when you see this um, Book of Shadows card, this addresses uh, matters that relate to tradition and foundation, okay? Uh, this is about embracing where you are. You know, you're going to be able to embrace where you are this year and, um, you know, finding value in yourself. Once again, this is like a confidence boost as seen with all of these cards that came up. All right. And um, this is also tells you that you've made it <laughs> and you've accomplished uh, things and it's good to be part, proud of your progress. But you can still do better and there's more work that needs to be done. So half of the work is done and you need to go ahead and finish the other half. So, you know, don't stop. You can always go further. Okay, so even if you smash some goals, set some new goals to accomplish. Just make sure that you keep going and you keep getting better and better as time goes along. All right, so that was it, guys. I appreciate you um, listening to our listening to this reading. And um, if you did enjoy it, if you can just give us a like and uh, subscribe to our channel. And I will leave all the links to our website if you would like to book a reading or if you need any kind of spiritual supplies and services. And until next time, guys, bye-bye.